Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Essential Oils 101. So for anyone that doesn't know me, my name is Rebecca Precious, and I am a Young Living Platinum Leader. I have been doing Young Living since 2002, 2003, so a while. I've been around the block a few times, so to speak. Um, I got into it with my horse was, ex was facing extreme health challenges, and through the use of essential oils, I was able to support his body and save myself thousands of dollars in vet bills. Um, unfortunately, I've then spent the thousands of dollars of, that I would have saved on keeping him in the luxury that he so expects, never on me. Anyway, before we carry on, I'd just like to read the disclaimer to you. So this information contained in this presentation tonight is not meant to diagnose, treat, cure any diseases. The information represents what I, the independent distributor of Young Living Essential Oils, has chosen to do and take charge of my own personal health and that of my family's. Statements in this presentation have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Products within this presentation are not intended to treat, diagnose, or prescribe. If you are pregnant and taking medication, nursing, or have a medical condition, then please seek a... Um, physician before using any of the products suggested in this presentation tonight. So with that being said, let me welcome you to the world of essential oils. Welcome! So there are literally hundreds and hundreds of essential oils out there and I do know that in the beginning it can be very, very overwhelming. So I want to encourage all the people that are listening to this call, don't be afraid. Just go with it nothing is going to happen bad and we'll discuss that so don't be intimidated um the oils that i'm going to discuss are oils that you would get in the premium starter kit and the premium starter kit is this kit within young living Ta -da! and the reason being why they're the oils that we're going to go with tonight is because within the premium starter kit it contains 11 oils and they are the most 11 common oils that are ordered within Young Living but they're the, those 11 oils are the oils that you're going to get the most use out of in the beginning they kind of kind of be your staple oils and to be honest they're the ones that I really don't travel um, anywhere without so a few things that I want you to know about essential oils so essential oils are non-toxic to you and your family. They are environmentally friendly. They help improve the quality of your life. They can help promote physical and emotional well-being. You can replace your conventional toxic cleaners with household products that contain essential oils that essentially you make up yourself. That way you get better results than your toxic cleaners and without any of the chemicals or the harmful effects. It can be used to create your own DIY beauty products. So basically, they're really versatile. There really isn't anything that these essential oils can't do. And one thing that I always tell people, when you join, you'll, you'll find yourself in the end start saying, ah, we have an oil for that. That's when you know you become a seasoned oiler, is when you hear that saying, we have an oil for that. It will happen, trust me. So... Like I said, I know a few of you are getting, you get the kit and you get kind of overwhelmed and you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? You know, I'm going to do something wrong. I'm going to create something, you know, do, do more damage than good. Well, let me tell you, the only way that these oils will not work is when you leave them in a kit, collecting dust, unopened. Just by playing with them, and it literally is playing with them you'll start to kind of like see all the benefits. Um, and there is really no hard and fast rule. Oils do different things for different people. And that's because everybody's body is different, right? So play. What might work for you might not work for me. What works for me might not work for you. But the only way you're going to know is if you play. And I promise you that if you stick to some of the guidelines that we suggest in this call tonight, you cannot go wrong. You will not make a mistake. You do not have to worry 
the oil police are not going to come along and arrest you. You'll be fine. I promise you. If they do, I will post your bail and get you out of jail. So with that being said, let's go over some of the caveats of if you did by these rules, nothing else will go wrong. Number one, never put an oil in the ear canal. Number two, never put an oil directly into the eye. If you're wanting to use oils in the ear region, then put a couple of drops in your hand. I do like a Q-tip or something and just kind of put it around the earlobe area. If you're wanting to use oils in the eye area, like with, you see how I got that there? Then think about, easy way to describe it is a panda. So you know the markings of a panda? They have like a big black, like little black eyes around there like that. And I'm not, not talking about the black eyes that you have when you wake up in the morning if you forget to take your mascara off. So if you trace the oils around where you think the panda markings would be, that's a safe place to go with the eyes. Now, if you do happen to get an essential oil and you do manage to drop it in the eye, don't apply water. Water acts as a magnifier. Water will actually make the oil stronger. And in some instances, we want that. But when we have it in our eyes, trust me, you do not want it. It stings, beyond stings. So you need to put a carrier oil in it. And by a carrier oil, I mean a fatty base oil, such as olive oil, coconut oil. Um, that will kind of take it down. That will help uh, even it out. If you happen to be in a place where you don't have access to that, then use something like milk or butter, something fatty, okay, that will slow down the absorption of the oil. So like I said, don't stress about what is the right oil and what is the wrong oil. This is kind of a very different way that we're approaching our health and it's working on our foundational health. So there really is no right way or wrong way of using the oils and there's no right way or wrong way of using an oil for us in a certain situation, if that makes sense. So reactions or burning sensations to oils are most often indication of a fast, blow, a fast blood flow to that area. Um, oils don't burn the skin the way chemicals burn the skin. So you know, change, your, change the way you're thinking with that. And like I said, if an oil doesn't work for you, change it. Try another one. A, the body metabolizes oils within about two hours, two and a half hours. So if you don't see a result, don't be trying like six, 10 days and be like, you know, I tried like 10 days, whatever. I didn't see anything. No, that's like nine and a half days too late. You need to be, you know, they're designed to go and pack a punch and leave. So we like to see some kind of result pretty quickly. Now, obviously different situations, a little different, you know, but for the most part, we like to do things, we, we, we're instant, we're an instant bunch, instantaneous. So one of the things that's really important when we're working with essential oils is quality. When we put an oil on our body, it actually starts working at a cellular level. When you understand that, it's very important that it has to be 100% pure. As you get more familiar with oils, you'll start seeing like oils in health food stores. You know, I mean, oh my gosh, oils are in a Walmart right now. The companies claim they are 100% pure. You as a consumer, how can you tell? How do you know that? Well, there's two things to go by. One, does it have an expiry date on it? If it has an expiry date on it, it's not pure. Two, can I take it internally? If it says, if taken internally, please consult a, a physician or a doctor immediately. Again, guess what? It's not pure. Because if it was pure, it wouldn't really be an issue, right? So, adulted oils contain synthetic chemical compounds and these chemical compounds actually cause harm, can actually do harm to the body. So with that being said, the only oils that I personally use are Young Living. The big difference between Young Living essential oils 
and other companies is that I can be assured that the ingredients that I'm getting are pure. How do they know they're pure? Because in the kit that you got, the premium kit came a product guide, right? And that's what we, some of the stuff that we're gonna go through tonight. So when you get off the call and you're telling someone like, oh my gosh, I'm using lavender, it does da 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 da. They're like, well, why? I mean, why this company? Be like, hmm, I don't know. I was on a training, there was some crazy Brit. I forget, she was going on about something. I was kind of trying to listen to what she was saying because she had an accent. <laughs> so, if you get your product guide and if you turn to page six, it actually talks about Young Living Seed to Seal. And Seed to Seal is very, very important to us. That is our trademark. That is what we stand by, that you get the highest quality oils available on the market today. And so to understand about seed to seal, if you turn to page six of your product guide, it goes into much more detail. But basically, the big difference between Young Living and pretty much any other company out there, definitely of our size, is it's about source for us. We have to know our source. We don't buy from a broker. We have our own farms. In fact, to give you an idea of how important it is, um, Young Living rent their corporate, the, the head office is in a you know, big, build, build, big building in Salt Lake City. We rent that, we don't own it. But we do own the farms around the world. And I think we have about 12 to 14 different farms throughout the world. And it's very important to us to have those farms because we have to ensure that we have the purest of purest of ingredients. And a lot of the times we can't get them at the quantity and the quality that we need. So we will have a product that will be out of stock for years because it will literally take years to grow it, to be able to have the plant to, to mature and then to harvest. Um, so with that being said, like some of the things to, that because we have our farms, we have control over the water source, we have control over the pH level, we have control over the seeds, we have control over the nutrients that go in the soil. We even control what time of day we harvest. It's, um, they'll do wind analysis to make sure that there's no other chemicals can come on their land from any other farm. It's a little bit like, the easiest way to understand this is if you have a lavender bush that's growing on at the bottom um, or side by of London Heathrow, right? Busy, busy airport, one of the busiest airports in the world. And you have a lavender bush growing in the mountains. When you harvest that bush, it's still gonna smell the same, but the chemical, the, the therapeutic properties in the, the lavender bush that's in the mountains is gonna be far higher than the lavender bush that was growing on the side of the runway of London Heathrow. So hope that makes a little bit more sense. So how do essential oils, how do we use them? We use them in one of three ways. We can apply them aromatically, we can apply them topically, and we can take them as a dietary supplement. So aromatically essential oils are powerful and a very fast way to read, reach the mood center of the brain. In less than one second, just by smelling essential oil can hit the limbic system of the brain and change our moods. So we use diffusers that help push the oils throughout the air. One thing to note with Young Living diffusers is that there is never any heat associated with it. We never want heat with oils. It's a cold vapor that comes out. Heat destroys the chemical makeup of oils. Topically, essential oils are absorbed into the skin. The skin is a lot, the largest organ within our body. And for me, the place that I go to when I'm using essential oils, especially when it's an oil that I'm not familiar with or I'm new to oils and I'm really not quite sure how my body is gonna to respond to them, then I go with the feet. The feet are an excellent, excellent place for using oils. They have over 2,000 pores and some of the largest pores are in the, in the body are in the feet. The other thing, the feet are connected to every system within the body. In fact, 
like I said, that is a very safe place to go. And it's the place that I would go if I'm working with children and babies. I would only ever put essential oils on the feet. Dietary. We can actually take essential oils as dietary supplements, and they are very, very effective. Caveat. The only oils that I would ever take internally are Young Living. Why? Because we just discussed the purity of them. You can actually get great benefits from ingesting these essential oils internally. Um, I like to take them in a vegetable capsule, which looks like so. So you can just open the oil, open the capsule, and you can drop the oil in there, and put it back in, ta-da, and take it. Now you, these are, you can get vegetable capsules, or the other way known as gel capsules, from most health food stores, Amazon, Young Living sell them. Um, some of the oils, i got to be honest, taste gnarly. So by putting them in a gel capsule makes it a little bit more bear bearable for me to take. The other reason why I like to take oils in gel capsules are the stomach acid will work on breaking them down. So they will be more effective um, if you take them in a capsule, especially if you want to get them deeper into the system in a more targeted area. Another good way of taking them is you can cook with them um, and make a mean chili by um, oregano, thyme, and basil. And then the other thing is by adding a few drops in your water. Putting a drop of peppermint in your water is a great afternoon pick-me-up. Kind of like brings you straight up. Now, what, no one drop of peppermint is equivalent to 20 cups of peppermint tea, so it is strong. All right, with all that being said, let's get on to the oils that are in your kit. So within the premium starter kit, you have 11 oils. Five of those oils are singles and six are blends. With a single means they come from one plant. The blend means they come from multiple plants. Pretty sim simple, right? And Young Living have blended those plants together because they have worked out synergistically, they'll work, harm, they'll work together. So they'll, they play around all that science stuff in the lab. So you and I don't have to worry about it. We just know that once it's blended, we're done. We didn't have to go on and do our blend ourselves. So the first oil I want to talk about is frankincense. Frankincense is an amazing, amazing oil in supporting the immune system. It's also supporting our respiratory system. Um, I, it's great oil for the skin. It's very soothing for the skin. So please know I will be applying for there tonight. Um, it's a spider bite. It's pretty gnarly. Um, and it's one that I like to apply to my skin regimes. I put a couple of drops of frankincense in my moisturizer morning and night. I am vain and I, you know, I don't want to get fine lines or I want to, prolong having fine lines for as long as possible. So I would do frankincense. Frankincense is also good for brain health. So in the morning, I will put a couple of drops of frankincense as well as lemon essential oil in my water. And it does help with, I call it brain fog. I sit in the car sometimes and completely and utterly forget, where am I going? What am I doing? So the frankincense does help with my brain. No, I like to think he does. So the next one we'll use, talk about is uh, the favorite, lavender. Lavender is a, I like to refer to as the Swiss army knife of essential oils. It helps with stress. It's very calming. It's very soothing on the skin. Um, I am very accident prone. I will randomly walk into walls where they just might have just suddenly, I haven't seen them there, just walk straight into them falling over where, I don't know, I, I'm just one of those accident prone people. So lavender is something that I carry all the time because it's good to put on just to help kind of soothe the skin, especially when it's going to be a nasty, nasty bruise. It's also great for um, nighttime in helping to switch the brain off. Um, I like to run it in my diffuser and I like to put a couple of drops at the back of my neck. You have a divot right at the back there and that divot is a great, great point to put essential oils on. Next oil I like to talk about is lemon. Most people think about lemon oil 
as um, you know, you squeeze a lemon, you're like, oh yeah, you know, I drink lemon every morning. But unless you're eating the rinds, you're not getting any of the goodness out of lemon. So it takes 3,000 pounds of lemon to make one kilo of lemon oil. Um, lemon is really supportive to our digestive system. It works on supporting um, in helping to eliminate toxins. It's supportive on our liver. It's supportive on our large intestine, skin. It works with circulation. Um, it helps in activate memory channels and improves mental process and stimulates the nervous system. So now you can see why when I say in the mornings that I do a couple of drops of lemon and the frankincense. See, not just a pretty face. <laughs> Next one is peppermint. So peppermint is a great stimulant. Brings us up. Let's get things moving. So it helps support the lungs. It supports the digestive system. It's great, you know, if you rub, rub, drop a couple of drops and just rub on the stomach if you've uh, pigged out too much. Um, I'm not a coffee drinker. Based on my accent, it probably should give it away why I'm not a coffee drinker. But I know a lot of people who, who have ditched their two cups of coffee in the morning habit and replaced it with a couple of drops of peppermint and hot water and get the same effect of getting them going as what the caffeine does. Um, so yeah, peppermint does definitely get you going in the morning. And speaking of getting us going, it brings us on to the next oil, which is diagize. And diagize, it likes to move you, if you know what I mean. Um, diagize is supportive to our digestive system. It is one where if you had a heavy meal, feeling bloated, go for your diagize. It works on um, helping support, I'm trying to think of the best way to say it, and helping support us. Like I said, if we've had like um, a big meal, it works on if we're having any kind of helping support with any kind of gastric issues. Diagize is definitely my go-to with that one. It's also a good one to take um, internally in a veggie capsule. I take it in a veggie capsule for, because I don't like licorice, and to me it tastes gnarly. So there you go. Good tip. So the, fi the, yeah, final. Well, the next oil that we like to use is thieves. So most people have heard of thieves before they've really ever heard of young living. And thieves is a great blend of oils that contain cinnamon, bark, clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, and lemon. It's wonderful at helping to support our immune system. I love thieves tea, and I am a tea snob. But if you do one drop of thieves, two drops of lemon, and a couple of tablespoons of honey and mix it together, it's very soothing on the throat, especially and if you're feeling under the weather. It kind of helps bring you up. Thieves is one where if I'm about to fly, I'll carry it with me and I'll put a couple of drops on the, on the bottom of my feet in the morning. And then before I'm about to get on the plane, I'll put a one or two drops on my thumb and put it on the roof of my mouth like that. It's also good if I feel like I'm getting under the weather. Easiest way to apply it is doing that way. They come, <clears throat> oh, it's a bit strong, I will say. Um, these also comes in a great toothpaste. My personal preference is using the Aroma Bright, but note that any of the, the um, Young Living toothpaste don't contain any fluoride in them. I've been using this Aroma Bright for three, three years and haven't had any dental work. And my dentist does always comment that for an English person, I have amazing teeth. So not really sure why he's talking about for English people and teeth. But anyway, I haven't had any dental work since you say, you know, I have no gum disease or anything. So just, yeah, make the uh, connection if so well. So stress away is a great oil that's in your kit. Uh, the name gives it away. It's stress, right? Um, it's one that I use every morning, especially living in Northern Virginia, where I have to drive 14 miles and it can take up to two hours. 
So I wear it as my perfume. You can take stress away and take it internally. I personally haven't done that just because I, it, it tastes a lime and vanilla and that's not really, I'm not really a vanilla kind of girl. Um, but I know a lot of people that do like taking stress away as a supplement as well. Copaiba is one of our oils that is actually, um, Young Living are the only company that bring it into the US. And Copaiba comes from Brazil and it helps the body's inflammatory response to any kind of injury. It's one that I use, I will actually take a couple of drops and put it in a veggie capsule every morning. And the reason being, I'm a runner, so I'm sure there's a lot of inflammatory responses going on in my body. I'm sure I'm putting it through the paces. So it does help with, with dealing with those kind of issues. Copaiba is also anyone that's on a budget, it's your best friend, it's a magnifier. So that means that I can use a couple of drops of another oil, add copaiba, and get the same result as if I was to use like six drops of the oil. So it's great if we're going to be using some more of the expensive oils. I can use less, add copaiba, bingo, get the same results. Purification. So the key to that one, purify, purification. See, it doesn't have to be a rocket scientist to work out what these oils do. So purification is a, a fantastic cleaning substitute. It's one where um, to help purify the air, instead of using any of those toxic or gnarly air fresheners and candles, I mean, where there have been all kinds of studies showing what, um, how harmful they are to us and our animals. I also like to use purification to help support the skin and calm the skin down, especially in any kind of response to bug bites. Um, might be using on that one as well later on. Um, so the, another thing for purification is anyone that has cats, I do like a, um, a litter aroma and do purification and baking soda and mix it into my cat litter. And it helps with the keeping the cat box smell very nice. And also my, my cat is then getting the oils when they kind of pour the litter. RC is a great blend that actually contains three different kinds of eucalyptus, myrtle, um, margarine, pine, cypress, lavender, blue spruce, and peppermint. And it's great for supporting the respiratory system. I like to make a DIY rub and I actually rub it on my feet before I go running. It does help with any kind of injuries that would be associated with that. Very kind of random that it does that, but it does work. And it's also great for, with seasonal discomforts, and especially when it's about to hit springtime, so it's one that a lot of you guys will be using. I like to put a couple of drops um, on uh, my body loafer and take it into the shower because it really does help open things up. So with that being said, we have gone through all the oils that are in your kit. Thank you for listening to me tonight. Thank you for being a part of Young Living. If you have any questions, then please shoot us an email. We'll be more than happy to answer. So with that, take care. Good night.